Coin6 News is on the case of the missing mushroom. Well, actually, it was stolen, and it's a giant mushroom sculpture. It's not the real thing. It belongs to a Northeast Portland man who told us today he'd like his mushroom back. I went to uh, Mount Hood for a couple of days, and I come back, and it's actually my mom who said, yeah, well, your mushroom is gone. I'm like, oh. Aurelian Cornois, four foot tall, hand carved wooden mushroom taken from his front yard on Northeast Beach Street near 87th. They left this other one. Now I understand, thanks to those people who stole it, that it's a valuable thing, that I do care about it. Cornois isn't really a professional sculptor. He's just a guy who saw these tree stumps just sitting around at the grotto nearby. And um, nobody could move them. So they said, if you can move it, then it's yours. So what do you do with a bunch of wooden stumps? Well, buy a chainsaw and start carving, of course. Mushrooms came to mind. Well, this is Portland, you know, it's rainy and there should be mushrooms all over the place and I don't see any, so I'm like, it's needed, you know? So the mushrooms are going to take over the world, you know? <laughs> he filed a police report, even though he knows it's pretty far down on the list of priorities. But Carnoy put a lot of time and effort into his creation. Several weeks, several weeks. And he'd like to see it again even though there are other stumps to carve. Ultimately, I'd try to do humans. So maybe, you know, like a mushroom with a, with a human on top, I would, or elf, you know, that would be really cool. As for whoever stole his mushroom. I, mean, I, I hope they don't sell it for a cheap price because it's, uh, you know, <laughs> it's a lot of work putting it. Well, a side note, the grotto, the spiritual sanctuary that gave Aurelian the wood, was also the victim of thieves last week. They stole three bronze plaques worth thousands of dollars, and those plaques are still missing.